the Tuskegee Airmen of World War II. In honor of the Tuskegee Airmen instructors and ground support personnel who participated in training for combat at the Walterboro Army Airfield during the Second World War. Because of their heroic action in combat, they were called Schwarzfogelsmitchen, Blackbird Men, by the Germans who both feared and respected them. White American bomber crews in reference referred to them as the Red Tail Angels because of their identifying red paint on their tail assemblies and because of their reputation for not losing aircraft to enemy fighters as they provided fighter coverage for missions over strategic targets in Europe. Anderson Field. This airfield, the first in Colleton County, was built and dedicated in 1933 on 60 acres leased to the town of Walterboro by the estate of C.C. Anderson, for whom it was named. By 1937, the town purchased the field and its three unpaid landing strips. Local, state, and federal sources combined to fund a large hangar and paved runways by 1941. The U.S. Army Air Corps leased the field from the town in early 1942 and purchased an additional 3,712 acres to create a new Walterboro Army Airfield. Walterboro Army Airfield. The Walterboro Army Airfield opened in August 1942 was a sub-base of the Columbia Army Air Base and the largest sub-base in the 3rd Air Force. It served as a final training base for pilots prior to overseas duty and housed a military population of as many as 6,000, as well as hundreds of German POWs. When the base closed after the war, the field was deeded back to Walterboro in Colleton County. This concludes the video of the Tuskegee Airmen Spotlight. Video intended for promotional intentions only, not for resale or copyright. Thank you for watching.